Namo Buddhai, this is Abhinav Gulecha and I welcome you. In this video, I am sharing my learnings from the Middle Discourses 2. Here's in the teaching. So in this, in this discourse, Buddha is asking the mendicants, asking the Sangha to be the heir. Heir means the successor, his successor in the teachings and not in the flesh. Right? So what is flesh? What is teachings? Teachings is the teachings, the pure teachings of the Dhamma that Buddha gave. What is flesh? Flesh in its actual meaning is meat, right? Uh, uh, meat uh, from killing the animal. But the extended meaning of flesh is all the material things in the world. Now, a bit of the context of this sutta is that, see, at Buddha's time, what was happening is that uh, there were Vedic sacrifices that were made. And as per the Vedas, and they were like, uh, even though there are certain uh, uh, verses in Rig Veda, which is like 1.16, 2.10, where they used to make the meat uh, fit and holy for the gods. They, so you, they used to sacrifice animals and make it fit for the gods and ancestors. So Buddha was totally against this practice. And that's why he totally rejected the Vedas. That uh, any Vedas which, which allow killing of animals should be rejected. So he was completely against the Vedas. And he completely rejected these kind of animal sacrifices. So most probably, and this is my limited understanding of this, Sutta is that in this context, because of the conditions that were prevalent at that time of making sacrifices and offerings of the flesh, Buddha said that, dear students, dear mendicants, be a hearer in my teaching. That means take my teachings with you, not the flesh. That means do not, you know, uh, uh, kind of get stuck in the material things. Follow the pure teachings and attain the liberation. Right? So there was the story of two mendicants in this uh, uh, sutta. The detailed link to the detailed sutta is given in the description. You can check that. Uh, so there are two mendicants. So, so basically what happens is Buddha said that, okay, if I have extra arms food, right? Someone has given me arms and my belly is full and I have extra arms food. So there are two mendicants. So one mendicant is uh, who rejects that food, that I will not have that food. And the second mendicant says, that you, I want that food. I want to eat that food. So Buddha says that the mendicant who rejects that food is more superior as compared to the mendicant who asks for that food. Right? The 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 meaning of this is the person who you know doesn't ask for material things. Right? Doesn't yearn for material things is more superior than the person who keeps yearning for material things. It needs to be understood here that Buddha was nowhere. Uh, 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 supporting here uh, the practice of self-mortification or fasting or other extreme practices. Buddha was completely against those kind of practices and that's why he advocated a middle path. Neither a complete, uh, uh, completely in, into sensual pleasures, neither completely into extreme forms of self-mortification. He always advocated the middle path since his first discourse. Right? Dhamma Chakka Pavatana Sutta. Right? So here, it is not that Buddha is saying that, you know, you uh, kind of uh, do fasting and, you know, you keep yourself deprived and everything. Buddha is trying to say that person should not get stuck in the material things of the world. He should not uh, uh, get stuck in that. He should basically give up the attachments and not get remain stuck in them. There was this one more thing that I could find was that greed, anger, hatred, all these kind of defilements. Then what, what is basically the, the path to giving up these defilements is what the, what the reference was of the middle path. That tract, follow the middle path of giving up the defilements. And what is that middle path? The middle path is the noble eightfold path. Right speech, right action, right livelihood, right mindfulness, right concentration, right effort, right understanding, right thinking. Right? So this is the middle path that Buddha said that this is the path that you should follow for uh, getting getting rid of all the defilements. Now this path, middle path is uh, explained in detail in MN141, Middle Discourses 141. So I am in the process of making videos on those discourses uh, also. So uh, you can search for MN141 uh, and maybe at that time when you are uh, watching that video, if it is there, you can find that. Right? So and that Buddha said that this, this middle path, the Noble Eightfold Path, leads to peace, direct knowing and awakening. Right? So that was uh, Buddha's uh, teaching. 
right so this is a short kind of uh, my uh, learning essence from the uh, uh, middle discourses 2 similarly i will be making videos on the individual middle discourses and then the long discourses and all so wait for my videos every day i will be publishing the videos and at the same time i also urge you that you also do the reading of the of the discourses at your end so you'll get your own insights and please do share your thoughts reflections feedback in the comment section and I will be much happy to uh, hear them. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Keep practicing. Namo Buddhaya. Namo Buddhaya.